We know that many people in different parts of the community, both inside and outside of ICANN, have ideas about what happens and what is and what isn't the IANA functions. Mostly that doesn't matter because if everybody's doing their job, it just happens. But as the community is considering the impact of changing the relationship between the U.S. government and ICANN in regards to the IANA functions, it seemed important to us that there be a wider understanding available that we actually explain what we already understood. 67 is the document that describes the way the functions work today. There was a, uh, a fair about amount of uh, disagreement even amongst ourselves as to where all the pieces came from because many of the people that are involved in the ESSEC have had connections with the IANA functions in various aspects for many years. Each party just was describing it as they best knew it and, and it was an assembly of that as well as an assembly of some of the other information for uh, the creation of 67. deals specifically with the contractual vehicles that surround all of that and you know cause it to be a relationship among parties that have contracts and agreements and so forth. Yeah, it's a contract, but there's all of these relationships, there's all this history, it's evolved over the years for reasons that may not be clear. The contract is a very complicated set of an RFP, a response to an RFP, appendices, inclusions by reference. People throw their hands up and say, well, there's just no way to understand it. We figured it was important enough to understand it that we actually did the work, pretty lengthy, detailed work. We created a reference document for specific understanding of exactly what's in the contract and how the pieces fit together. When you look at all the pieces that make it up, that's nearly 600 pages of documentation. And so we, one of the other challenges was to get the important and, and uh, key information from those 600 pages or 500, 600 pages into 15, 16 pages. The both documents should be required reading for anybody who wants to participate effectively in the discussion that's going on right now.